Hello everybody and welcome to a new computer craft series, 11 lines or less. La la lol. So uh, what we're doing here is we're trying to, in just 11 lines or fewer, do something pretty interesting, sort of neat, and so uh, something that might be a little simple and uh, implementable uh, by you on your server without too much effort. So here we have a hallway. It's perfectly safe. There's absolutely no danger in walking down it unless you happen to be a mob. So let me go ahead and spawn a zombie over here and try to taunt him into the Hall of Death. And it doesn't take very long, and he is, uh, he's a little bit of a wimp, actually. He's a little, there we go. And he is toast. So, uh, we've got the groin shooter of death there. It's, uh, it's specially formulated to shoot people in the groin. And let's see how this works. So we're going to just go into startup, and this is the whole program. So while True simply just does this loop over and over again, I might try to exempt myself from this taking part of my 11 lines because it's hard to get code in 11 lines. Uh, here what we're doing is we're grabbing all of the values from sensors, get available targets for probe. And we're telling it that the controllers in the back, we want to use sensor 1, and uh, we want to get the living entities. And so that's all. That's all that query, that for statement is. Let me show that to you. The controller is here in the back. The probe is named sensor1 right here, and we're getting the living entities uh, probe type. So then what we do is from that, it's going to give us a string uh, or some text. It's going to give us the, uh, the type of monster. So here, uh, we're trying to grab that A to Z, some character A to Z, more than one, one or more. And then it's going to give us the X, so it could be a negative possibly. I don't know if there's going to be a negative there, so that's what that is. And we want 0 through 9 because it's a number, and then more, one or more of those, Y and Z are the same. So we're grabbing all of those and we're putting them into three different or four different variables. What, which is the type of monster X, Y, and Z. And then X, Y, and Z are text, so we have to change those to numbers by just doing X, Y, Z equals 2 number X, comma, 2 number Y, comma, 2 number Z. Then if it's a zombie, a creeper, or a skeleton, and it's Z equals 56, so it's it's in the path, Z equals 56 is right here. So if I do F3, you should be able to see that Z is 56. It's hard to tell, I know, but uh, that's where that comes from. And Y is um, 67 or 68, because I don't want to shoot some monster that's underground. That would be pointless. And also X is more than 60 and less than 70, because uh, you know we don't want to try to shoot something that's behind us or way out of range. Then. We just do a set output, write to true, and then sleep for 0.2 seconds. And here's the end for the if, here's the end for the for. And then after that, we want to make sure that the redstone is turned off again. And then we sleep for another 0.2 seconds. And that's it. That's all that you need to do to save, make your hallway safe from zombies, creepers, skeletons. And uh, you could have this shoot at players, but the problem is it'll shoot at yourself as well. So right now I'm safe. But uh, if I were to add the player tag in, I would not be. So uh, there you go. That's a way that you can try to uh, make your hallway safe, your your uh, your your guild hall safe from intruders, and it's very simple. So that's it for this episode of Ten Lines or Less. I hope you liked it, and uh, we'll look for you next time. Until then, happy computing.